Emily Deem is exploring the Wise Earth Science Museum in Menasha this morning. Here she is. Hi, Em. Good morning, everyone. This museum is located on the University of Wisconsin Fox Valley. Now, you can grab a map and go explore many different exhibits that are in here. The best part, though, this museum is hands-on. Joanne Klusendorf is here with me to tell me a little bit more. Why don't you explain that, Joanne? Well, Emily, we are not your grandfather's museum. Uh, you go to most museums and things are under glass or they're behind velvet ropes, but in the Wiser Science Museum, you can actually touch some of the exhibits. Here we have some ripple marks, just like you see along the lakeshore, that are 1.8 billion years old. Wow. They're from down in the Baraboo area, and uh, can't wiggle your toes in this anymore, <laughs> but this was actually once a sand beach. Well, obviously, there are still some specimens that are behind glass. Tell me why that is. Well, because some specimens are fragile, and they can't handle a lot of touching. And um, sometimes they're um, uh, valuable, and you don't want them to uh, get legs. <laughs> and what are some of these items that are in here? OK, well, we're looking at um, some things like crinoid stems, which is a kind of animal that looks like a plant that lives underwater. And then we have cephalopods. Those are the relatives to modern squids. It was like a squid with a long, hard shell. And here we have some really cool specimens of parts of trilobites, which were an ancient arthropod that lived in the ocean when Wisconsin was under the ocean about 420 million years ago. Joanne, that is so cool. Let's go to some other um, specimens that are yep. actually out for people. Yep. We have touchables all through the museum. This is actually a piece of a petrified log. It's all egg and uh, you can touch it and just imagine what the trees were like. And this is from Arizona around the Petrified Forest National Monument. So it's like visiting Arizona. And then we have a, a sauropod dinosaur vertebra. This is a yes. single uh, vertebra from the backbone of one of those long neck, long tail dinosaurs, the ones that are as big as two school buses. And uh, that that is um, uh, one of the things you can always touch. It's uh, it's really fun because you can feel your own backbone and see just how much bigger it is. Um, what's really great is you have an exhibit here that is for the visually impaired. That's you right. have something here with you. Yeah, we worked uh, with uh, the Wisconsin uh, Council for the Blind and Visually Impaired, and they actually produced a blind braille manual for this exhibit that we have called Touching the Earth. Wow. We're going to show you that exhibit coming up, but go to our website to learn more about this museum. Unbelievable what you're able to learn out here and touch. Joanne, thank you so much. Go to fox11online.com for more.